Good morning, everybody. Happy whatever day of Vlogmas it is. I thought it'd be fun just to kind of chit chat with you guys and get ready for the day. Um, I have a very fun day today. Um, well, I have to get through a little bit of work, which is standard for me, but um, I'm meeting up with my best friend later on for dinner, which will be really fun. She has a wedding coming up, so it's just fun to like chat wedding things with her and like get plans sorted and all of that um and then i honestly have to do christmas shopping i'm pretty yeah it's the 20th of december and i have to finish christmas shopping i did a little bit online and paid that money to get it shipped like two days in advance because we don't have time to wait so i'm feeling good i i found a gift for someone that i was just like racking my brain for i couldn't figure out what to do but so I got that sorted and then yeah, I just want to run into a couple stores while I'm out tonight and I'm going to try to make tonight like my final night to finish everything up and shop. <sighs> so fingers crossed we can do it. But yeah, I'm just going to get ready and thought I would show you guys. This is like kind of what I've been doing for the last like three weeks. It's just an easy, basic makeup look, which takes me a few minutes. It'll take me a little bit longer because I'm like chatting with you guys, but for the most part it's easy so starting off with my face i'm using the revlon candid natural finish um foundation and this is new to me and i am obsessed with it so it is so beautiful on my skin i'm finishing out the month of vlogmas strong which feels so good i remember setting so many big goals for myself this year and the biggest one was just to finish vlogmas and i have so well i don't want to speak too soon but for the most part i finished and i feel really good i went on instagram last night if you guys don't follow me it's carly garcia i'll have it linked below you can come check out my daily life there it's really fun i post like obviously way more frequently than i do normally on youtube over there so if you want to stay in the know you can follow me there but yeah i just like posted a little thing of like gratitude just to everyone that's like watched and like i wanted to do the same for you guys here you guys keep coming back to my channel and watching it so it really does mean a lot to me and yeah i just wanted to say thank you because i don't know it's fun but it's also just fun to see like all of the engagement i love making videos but i like connecting with you guys the most so yeah thank you guys so much that is the base done and I feel like on a normal day like this could be all I wear and I'd be fine with it but I'm gonna conceal a couple of little spots my skin is doing a little bit better I'm still on my period which is annoying but um so I did have a little bit oh of a breakout which is fine this just like exploded everywhere um I'm using the super stay uh, full coverage under eye concealer from Maybelline but I love to use this everywhere not just specifically my under eyes it conceals so nicely and I feel like it just wears beautifully all day long so just kind of spot concealing and I'll put a little bit on the center of my face as well as well as my eyelids because I use my concealer as my eye primer so I'm gonna do that I'm going to throw on this elf camo concealer as well just on like a couple spots just to like really disguise it <laughs> um so update on i think i told you guys maybe i didn't i can't remember but i was on a new birth control and i decided to stop taking it because it was horrible like making me so anxious in a way that like i have never been before because i feel like i've always like there have been times in my life where I've like felt anxious and stuff like that but this was on a new level and I talked about a little bit of like just like fear like overall fear with like <laughs> choking and like just weird things that like have never happened in the past and in the last three months I've been so bad and that like timeline adds up to when I started taking my birth control and I know those of you that have used birth control I've heard lots of stories that like you know there are some that just don't work with you and you, sometimes you have to try a few to find the right one for you so I just stopped taking it and it was like a scary decision because obviously like you know we don't want any kids in this house but at the same time I think like nothing is worth it to sacrifice like your mental health if that makes sense so there's other ways to like you know be careful and 
all of that and I have an appointment with my doctor and everything um, to kind of figure out another game plan because yeah it's just like not worth it to kind of just like I don't know feel so crappy and that's how I felt like we moved into this house and I just felt horrible every single night and I was so scared to fall asleep and um, eat anything and it was just I was so anxious horribly anxious so, so I stopped taking that oh I forgot to show you guys that this is what happens when I ramble um, I'm just setting my eyes with the Maybelline fit me con uh, concealer loose finishing powder I love that for my eyes and then for the rest of my face I just set it with the bare minerals original loose powder whatever it is called um, so yeah I think I stopped taking it um earlier this no last weekend yeah last weekend I'm pretty sure and I've been feeling so much better it's so weird but I think like there also could probably be other things to anxiety because you know sometimes you just have it and that's fine <sighs> but I'm feeling so much better and I really do think it did have something to do with the birth control so I'm just so happy to like be feeling myself again and I've been sleeping through the night and I fall asleep without Netflix which is huge if you guys know me personally then you know I fall asleep to Gilmore Girls for the last like three years and that sounds like a long time and dramatic and I'm not being dramatic like three years I've been falling maybe even more I can't remember when I lived with my roommate McKaylee maybe that was three years ago I think so but I always think about like me and my best friend used to live together and like she would come home and because she'd get home later than me because I'm a grandma but she would come home and I would like she'd have to turn off Gilmore Girls because it would still be playing in the background so um yeah it's so crazy that I'm falling asleep now without any Netflix I meditate before I go to bed and I sleep through the night which is so huge and so exciting so I feel so much better and yeah that was kind of like my update I just wanted to let anybody who I don't know maybe has gone through this before or like is going through it I think it's just totally fine to do what's best for you and your body and obviously I have a partner's fashion in this that I have to consider as well but at the same time like he is so just for me and wants me to feel my best and so yeah we'll have to just like keep trying other methods of birth control which I kind of hate but I don't know we'll see but anyway that's my little update on that and yeah I just feel so much better so I just wanted to kind of document that because uh, through all of vlogmas I think I've been kind of keeping it at bay and I don't know behind the scenes it's just really hard and it has been hard but now I just feel so much better and it's exciting to celebrate that so Bronzing my face with this Wet n Wild bronzer in the shade Sunset Strip Tease. Very cute. It's like the perfect matte bronzer. So I'm just putting a little bit on and bronzing up just a tiny bit. I'm hoping this makeup will last me all day because I really don't have time to come back and um, finish it. So. I'm going to now put some blush on. This is the Burt's Bees Olive Glow in Suzanne. I'm just going to do it with my finger. That's the easiest way. And this is such a pretty blush. So I'm going to pack on a little bit more because the rest of my face will stay throughout the day. But my blush will just like completely disappear. And it's just a gorgeous blush. I have a cute like holiday makeup look um a couple vlogs back and then i talked also about everything that's in my makeup collection so if you guys want to see everything like i'm only talking about some of my favorite staples right now but if you guys want to see everything you can go back and watch that i'll have it linked here as well um we're gonna highlight and i'm going to take the essence pure nude highlighter in the shade be my highlight and i love this highlight so much it's such a good daytime one and i know like maybe that doesn't make sense because highlighter should be anytime but i feel like this is such a nice like sheen for the day it's a pretty color but then i feel like something like the becca uh vanilla quartz is broken but it's kind of like this or the ofra glazed donut i feel like these are like nighttime going out highlights if that makes sense so i really love the essence pure nude 
for daytime. It's just really pretty, especially like for work. I'm also going to do a little peekaboo here because whenever I wear like a collared shirt, I like to do that, which is funny, but it just makes me feel good. So that's like my face. Like I said, it takes like when I'm not talking to you guys and not rambling, it takes like a few minutes, maybe like five, six minutes. So I love it. So now I'm going to move on to my eyes, which are even easier on the days where I'm busy and I have to get to work quick and I gotta be out the door. So what I think I'm going to pop into my Jaclyn Hill uh, palette and I'm gonna use, I can never, I think it's silk cream, yeah. I'm going to use silk cream right here and just put that in my, where's my little, <laughs> where's my mirror? Um, I'm going to put that right in the crease, just kind of buff that in. And I love this shade because it's just like a nice, neutral transition shade transition shade it's not like super warm like i love to use the maple syrup from the zoella brunch day palette with ColourPop, but at the same time i feel like if i use a lot of it it's very like it has like a orangey warmer undertone which is fine but i just think like during the day i just need like a pretty neutral brown that's going to just like add a little bit of definition, but not like too much color. I don't know. Can you see that? Like it's just a little tiny color, um, but nothing too harsh, which is why I love the Jaclyn Hill one. And they just blend so easily, so beautifully, especially when you're in a hurry, you gotta get out the door. Um, I think I'm going to go into the brunch date palette and I'm going to get French toast right here. Just a tiny, tiny little bit to put on the outer edge of my lid. And like the tiniest little amount just does it for me. Okay, then I'm just gonna buff that out. And I really wanna know how your guys' December is going. I talk to you guys a lot about just like my videos and stuff like that but I really want to know what you guys are up to any festive fun date nights or friend nights or family I'm so excited to see my family I feel like I have been so bad with making time and talking to them seeing them so that's definitely something that I need to get better at because I think we can all just get so busy that we're like you know texting and which is great but yeah i need to definitely once like december's over i can't wait to just like get back to my normal routine of life and seeing people seeing friends again seeing family um things just get busy so i'm excited i'm going to put on my mascara this is the essence i love extreme little volumizing mascara and i love it mascara is on now all i have to do are my brows so i'm going to get the maybelline brow ultra slim pencil and just pop some brows on i thought that this was going to be a chatty intro but once i do my makeup i just get so like relaxed so i stop talking and it's hard to talk when you do your mascara and eyebrows so i'll probably chat with you guys show you my lips that sort of thing we'll just skip through the brows now for my lips, I'm going to put on my new ColourPop uh, liquid lip in the shade Times Square. Love this one. It's a lot deeper than the other liquid lip that I have, which I thought that they were gonna be the same, which makes me happy that they're different because I always try to buy ones that are different. But ColourPop still has some of my favorite. Their formula continues to be one that I love. Done so. And that my friends, oh, and that my friends is makeup done. So I feel really good about it. I have to film a couple of things and edit and then we'll be out the door. I can show you guys what I'm wearing. Um, this was in yesterday's video. If you guys saw it, um, my winter 
thrifted outfits ideas I don't know this is just a really cute blouse that I love to wear it's just easy relaxed but it also looks like very dressed up and like you did something my earrings are these cute chunky heart earrings from Target and what else oh my Garcia necklace and that's it so I gotta get to work Wow, I have been sort of bad at vlogging today. <laughs> so apologies for that. Um, but at least you guys saw my makeup routine, which hopefully took up a bulk of this. But as you can tell, my living room is still a mess. I've changed now into something a little bit cozier because I'm about to meet up with my friend Adrian. We're gonna go to dinner. I think I, I already told you guys, but um, yeah, we're gonna talk like wedding stuff. But then afterwards, I have to finish my Christmas shopping. So that's what I'm gonna do. I have a Tino's. That's what I'm going to do, and yeah, it should be really, really fun. So hopefully the next time you see me, I'm completing all my Christmas. And yeah, let's get in the car. I'm not wearing a coat, which I might regret later, who knows, but it has just been bugging me to wear jackets. I don't really love wearing jackets, so no coat for me, but we'll get it done. I am home now as per my comfy clothes, as you guys can see, but I totally forgot to vlog when I was at dinner with Adrian. We were just like deep into conversation and just catching up. It was so good to see her, but um, <sighs> I'm actually winded. <laughs> um, then uh, we walked around the mall. She helped me pick out a couple presents, which was nice. I finished my mom, my sister. Um, uh-huh. What are they telling me? And not Sebastian. I still have not finished him. Yeah, Bugging me. Uh-uh. Oh, do we need to go to the VA tomorrow? <laughs> Diddlers. Yeah, Sebastian's still not done. And I think that's just because I put the most pressure. I mean, I love everyone's gifts, but for some reason, like, Sebastian is the hardest to shop for. And just because, like, I don't know. He's just very hard. So anyway, but I wanted to grab my camera because look at what he did for me while I was gone. Close this. We finally got my cute vanity all set up. So that is going to be my project for hopefully the weekend is just like setting things up. Thank you for doing that. You're welcome. That was so sweet. Well, I was just going to say, I think I'm going to use it as a desk instead of a vanity. I haven't decided because I obviously, well, I still have this little mirror, which I like more than like the big one, but. I think you should do that as your background. Yeah? Like put it right there and then the light's going to come this way. That's cute. You could put, I don't know, I think you could put, I like really... just kind of like mine. Yeah. But... Oh, he wants to plug his office, huh? <laughs> but yeah, so I'm so excited that I finally have this up and have a place to like do my makeup and then this room. Um, then th that will make this room feel like a little bit more put together. So I'm so excited and I'm so appreciative. Thank you, baby. Welcome, baby. I love it. And yeah, now <sighs> the office of all. I love Sebastian's office. It's really cute. We need to get stuff like on your walls and stuff, though. That's all I want for Christmas. I know. Just kidding. No, don't give me that. Oh. You already got me stuff. Yeah, of course, of course. Um, but yeah, I mean, all of our walls need something on them. <laughs> we really want to do that. Um, I showed you guys a little bit when I was like filming, but we have like a lot of our pictures downstairs because we want to hang stuff up on the walls and I don't know, really make this house feel like a home because we were talking about how we miss, we don't miss it, but how we loved our last apartment, our first apartment so much. Yeah. And we're like, why the heck did we love it so much? you know what, so I was much? thinking about it today. I think it's just because it was the first apartment that we had yeah. together and like we had so many memories in there yeah. because they're our first memories yes and now which is just so hard like yeah because i love it and when i think of that um can I here when i think of that apartment it makes me like sad and happy just like what Sebastian's saying like it was our first place where we lived together and there's just so many memories so you know what i think huh i think we just need to always like make Really good memories. Yeah, I, I think know. so too. You know, I'm like we have to keep going. Have well, and it's it. just our first month here, and we've loved it. Like we <laughs> love it. It's just like I don't know that like nostalgic feeling of like wow, like when I think of that old place, it was just so fun. So, and I think that's good. I think it's good to like be grateful for the places that you've been. And obviously, when we get another house, we'll probably miss this one as well. Yeah. 
So yeah, we just want to make it more like us in this house and put pictures up and stuff like that. So I brought us home dinner. Well, I ate dinner, but Sebastian didn't, but I also brought myself a side of noodles <laughs> because I really wanted them. So uh, what do you say? Do you want to watch a movie? It's yeah, cute. I heard the Irishman was really good. I don't know. You don't know what? Just, <laughs> you don't know if, if it's good or you don't know if you want to watch it? It's just not my style of movie, but we did watch Christmas with the Cranks because of me last night. Oh my God, so. that was the worst movie. Like, I'd rather watch Halloween City or Halloween oh Town. Oh my gosh, Sebastian hates all my childhood movies, but... <laughs> so we can watch Irishman. Can we talk about the movie though? It was so bad. It was my first... It, I've never actually seen Christmas oh with God. the Cranks, and I was waiting for it to like... Something to happen. I don't know. I was like frustrated that they weren't leaving on I their cruise. Like, I felt myself being like, Why? I felt anxious. I thought the movie was going to be at the cruise. So I was like too. excited. That's what I'm saying. I was and so anxious. And then it never happened. Yeah. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. So, but I called it. I knew that the daughter was going to come home. Yeah, like, you did. I, I freaking called him. Oh um, my gosh. That was such a But movie. yeah, it wasn't our favorite. And I just, I wanted to see them on the cruise. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I was, was just, like, why are you guys not going? Go on a cruise. Yeah, we would much <laughs> rather pick a cruise. So we were just like, what the freak are you guys doing? Yeah, I'm excited for that. Let's go eat.